What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUp Free Essentials. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use section planes inside of the free version of SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, and so for this video, we're going to use the Chrissy Airfield House from Drew W inside of the 3D Warehouse. So if you want to download this and follow along, you can. And so let's go ahead and let's talk about what a section plane is. So what a section plane is, is it's basically a temporary cut across your model, allowing you to see inside of it. So it's basically going to hide everything on one side of the plane and show everything on the other side of the plane. You can use this to create floor plans, interior elevations, lots of different things. But what we wanna do is we wanna click on the three dots right here. Notice how I already have this right here, but you may not. You just wanna go find section plane inside of your options. Now, notice how when you bring this in, this section plane is going to inference to whatever surface you place this over, kind of like the rotate tool does. Now, in this situation, we don't necessarily want that. We want to lock this to a vertical direction. And so you can tap the left, right, or up arrow keys on your keyboard in order to lock this to a certain direction. Then you can inference over a point. So in this case, I'm going to pick maybe the midpoint of these windows right here in order to place your section plane. Now, notice how you've got this big plane in here and you can actually edit and adjust the location of that by using the move tool. So I could tap the M key, single click, and I can move my mouse and notice how this plane is going to move up and down inside of my scene like this. Now, you can toggle that plane off because notice how it's giving you a little bit of shading in here um, and it can be a little bit distracting. You can actually go into your visibility settings right here or your display settings and you can toggle the option for section planes as well as toggling the option for section cuts like this. So you can toggle if you see the plane and you can also turn your cuts on and off um, inside of SketchUp. Now that is one thing to note is you can actually save those states in scenes. So if I was to click into my scenes option right here, for example, and I was to add a scene. So in this case, I'm gonna add a scene and maybe call it something like section cut. So we'll edit this, we'll call it section cut. And we'll go ahead and we'll accept that. Now, let's say that we were to create a whole nother scene like this one, and we were to toggle section cuts off, and then I'm gonna take this scene and I'm going to update it. So I'm gonna click on the option for update active scene like this. Make sure the box for active section planes is checked and click on okay. And so you can toggle both of those over here. Now note that some different styles um, actually do different things with the section planes. Like for example, notice how in the current style, what this is doing is this is actually adding a section fill in here. But if I pick another style, notice how it's going to add a different colored section fill inside of the wall. One thing that's a little bit annoying to me is the free version doesn't allow you, at least as far as I know, to actually like edit your styles unless I'm missing something somewhere. So you can't actually come in here and change things like the color of those section cuts or anything like that, which to me is a little bit important, but that's okay. Um, just be aware that you may have to pick some different styles in order to try to get the result that you want. But styles are going to affect this and most of them are going to add a colored section fill inside of your walls. And so another thing I wanna talk about is sometimes you're gonna to wanna to have multiple section planes in your model. And so like for example, let's say that I wanted a second section plane that was lower down in this building. So say I wanted a section plane and I'm just gonna use the move tool in copy mode. So just M click and then tap control in order to create a copy. But I'm gonna create a second section plane down here like this. And notice what that plane is going to do I'm gonna kind of move it up and down a little bit because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a cut that kind of shows this little basement area in here. Notice how I now have a second plane that's overriding my first plane. And so you can set which plane is the active plane by right clicking on a plane and clicking in the option for active cut. So notice how I can click on that top one in order to get make that the active cut. If I right click on the lower one, it's gonna make that one the active cut right here like this. 
One thing to note about this is you don't just have to put your section planes in here in a vertical sense. You can also add a section plane or um, in a horizontal sense. You could also pick something. And I'm actually gonna mouse over this surface right here. And I'm gonna move this section plane like this. Notice how I can actually use this in order to create a vertical section plane as well. Now there's a cool option in here if you right click for align view. When you click on align view, what this is gonna do is it's going to align your camera directly perpendicular to the actual plane that's in here. Now, one thing that I wanted to talk about really quick though is a camera setting that allows you to create actual floor plans. So I'm gonna right click on this cut, make the active cut, and I'm gonna go into my camera views. I'm gonna go to a standard view, and I'm gonna go to a plan view top, like this. And one thing about your camera that you can do is you can select the option for parallel projection. Because right now, if we look at this view, notice how our walls are kind of continuing down and you can kind of see them because they're going to a vanishing point. However, if you select parallel projection like this, notice how that perspective is no longer there. So you can use this to create true elevations and plan views. This is usually how you're going to set up plans in the pro version to get into layout, but you can also use this in order to create those true top-down views. Okay, and so now we're gonna go back into perspective mode. And the other thing I wanted you to know about this is notice how with this plane, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make this one the active cut like this. You can actually right click on a plane and click on the option to reverse in order to flip the direction that that plane is facing just like this. So you can use that in order to really quickly flip the direction of a plane. And then there's also an option in here that you might've seen called create group from slice. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set this to be my active cut again. But if you right click and you click on the option for create group from slice, what that's going to do, and you can kind of see it, but I'm gonna move it up. It's actually going to intersect the section plane. And I guess I'm gonna have to move it up and then toggle that section plane off because the plane is hiding it. So I'm gonna right click on this plane. There we go. I no longer have an active cut, but notice what that did is that came in here and that created a section of lines from wherever that section plane is intersecting with your model. So if you wanna pull a quick two dimensional view or something like that, you can use the section plane in order to do that. And so one other thing I wanted to introduce you to is the possibility of creating animations with section cuts. So let's say that we've got a section cut right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stand it up and I'm going to rotate it. So note that you can rotate section planes using a rotate tool. But I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this 45 degrees right here like this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy of this section plane over here. Notice how this is now the active plane, but I could right click on this one and make this the active plane and be able to see everything. But what you can do is you can actually animate the transition between section planes using scenes. And so if I click into my scenes right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a scene where this cut, and we'll go ahead and click on save, um, is the active section cut. But now I want to create a new scene We'll go ahead and toggle these off where this is the active cut. And actually I wanna update this one so that this is the active cut and then create a new scene where this is the active cut. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna update the scene right here. We'll click on okay. So now if I click, notice what this is gonna do. So this is going to animate the transition between two different scenes like this. So you can actually use this to create a construction style animation inside of SketchUp. And so one other thing really quick is I just want to make sure that you know that you can't currently just have like multiple active section cuts at a time, but you can have multiple active section cuts by using groups. So for example, say that I wanted to cut part of this space like this, but then I also wanted the rest of these to be active. Notice how I can have an active cut in my overall model, and then I can also have an active cut within a group. And so as long as I have an active cut within a group, anything that's inside of that group is going to be cut by the section plane, but then section planes outside of the group will also 
affect this. So if I click between these, like this, then I would have to go ahead, whoops, and note that you can also toggle a section cut to an active cut by double clicking on it, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna update this scene right here. Notice how that section cut within the group is affecting just the objects in here. So if you wanna have multiple different section cuts, you're gonna to wanna to use groups inside of SketchUp. All right, so if there's interest, I can make a separate video on creating a construction animation using scenes and section planes, but that's kind of an overview of section planes in SketchUp. If you have any questions about anything we talked about, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.